بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم تو آج کا جو ٹاپک ہے دیٹ از تھرمل اسٹیبلائزر تو جس طرح ہم نے پہلی کیٹیگری پڑھا تھرمل جو ہے یہ ایڈیٹیوز کا اور ایک کیٹیگری ہے ایڈیٹیوز وہ میٹیریلز جو ہم فورن امپیورٹیز ایڈ کرتے ہیں پالیمرس کو سو ایز ٹو امپروو دیئر پراپرٹیز اور ہم نے کہا تھا یوجولی وی لک ایٹ دی دیئر ڈیگریڈیشن ٹوورڈس ہیٹ the effect of degradation of polymers towards light or sometimes we air these uh, additives so as to improve the so as to lower down the cost see the a category of thermal stabilizers the thermal stabilizers jaise naam yahan pe bol raha hum unko add karte hain when the polymer is susceptible to degradation towards heat to so, polymer jo hai is susceptible to the degradation towards the heat so in order to prevent that degradation we use thermal stabilizers take it so in case when the polymer is susceptible to the degradation towards the heat we use thermal stabilizers take to hame pata hai ki polymers upon thermal upon now those polymers which will get degraded upon exposure to the high temperatures تو وہ کیا کریں گے دے ول بریک ڈاؤن دا مالیکیول ٹھیک فار ایگزامپل اور یوجولی جو ون آف دا اسٹرائکنگ کیس اس میں دی جاتی ہے دیٹ از ونائل پالیمرس ونائل پالیمرس سو ونائل پالیمرس یوجولی انڈر کو ڈیگریڈیشن دا ہیٹ ایگزامپل آف ونائل پالیمرس فار ایگزامپل ویل ٹیک سم ایگزامپلس نمبر ون اف ونائل پالیمر از لائک دس So this is a vinyl polymer. Okay, look at this is a vinyl part. Well, all derivative, if it's chloride, it's called vinyl chloride. If it's estate, it's called a vinyl estate. Take. So this is uh, likely if it is, H is different than the polymer. So it's basically, this unit is getting repeated. So it's a vinyl polymer. So when this is exposed to heat, usually at high temperature, it has been observed that A fragment from this molecule gets cleaved. So what happens here? Here is H and here is H. Remember that this whole process is basically, you know, it's through free radical mechanism. Okay, so what happens here? Now it actually will block the chain also. So... So it will result in that it will actually chop a fragment from the chain that is here in the form of an organic fragment RH, an alkyl fragment here. Okay, no? So... So this is actually the, the example where how the polymer gets degraded upon heat. So now, accordingly, we can take usually two examples here. In which observation has been done in the experimentally. For example, we'll take a molecule of the same nature when we change this R group. Now, when the R group is chloride, it's called a vinyl chloride. So, for example, polymer of vinyl chloride. Polymer of vinyl chloride. That is called as a polyvinyl 
chloride fine so that's called a polyvinyl chloride so polyvinyl chloride is basically ch h ch chloride it's basically the way to up this tick so polyvinyl chloride is basically this unit is getting repeated again and again this is if you had a double bond here it's called a vinyl chloride so it's getting again and again repeated now this polymer gets degraded in this form it can release the hcl molecule this and this it can release the hcl molecule so you have it ch ch remember again that in the free radical usually you know the free through free radical process the it occurs it's one radical gets released from here one here it forms this and it forms polyene type of compound so polyene 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 in the chain take so this is how the polyvinyl chloride pvc gets degraded the one more example we can take if we replace this r and remember these examples are the common examples if we use the r by a state that's called a polyvinyl estate. So polyvinyl estate. Polyvinyl estate. So polyvinyl estate is like CHCH. O. O estate group C H three. So this is the repeating unit. Polyvinyl estate. Yahan pe estate group in this case it was chloride. It's called polyvinyl estate. Polyvinyl estate. This is called polyvinyl chloride. So in at high temperatures usually the melt temperature usually so it releases the estate this estate and edge that's called estic acid so it releases estic acid molecule c o o h it releases the estic acid molecule and then we are getting So this is how the polymers are getting degraded, usually when we are subject to the heat. So again, I will show you So thermostabilizer, those substances which we add to under the conditions, yeah, to those polymers which are which are actually which are good degradation upon exposure to the heat or high temperatures. And usually the best example is vinyl polymers. In this fashion, they release a fragment. Now example, polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl state it releases hcl it releases estic acid and forms polyenes take now we'll go to the substances which are added now now this was the basics of the those compounds and how they get degraded now so stabilizers now, which materials are which impurities we add so which foreign impurities we are adding or which materials we are adding Which we're adding so as to prevent this degradation process take so most common examples you have most common examples of here these thermal stabilizers can be terms also they can be molecules they can be atoms they can be molecules uh, um, they can be the, the, the atoms molecules so or they can be combination of atoms that can be combination of molecules the most common examples the common examples of common examples of thermal stabilizers 
common examples of thermal stabilizers that is usually the the you know the barium cadmium so it is number one barium cadmium combination barium cadmium number one most common barium cadmium you can have second example it can be the you know uh, it can be cadmium zinc cadmium zinc this combination the cadmium or zinc ka jo hai uh, you know combination that will act as uh, the, uh, the the thermal stabilizer towards particularly towards these vinyl derivatives vinyl polymers is tarah se so many kind they can be atoms molecules they can be yeah, organometallic or gano metallic materials metallic materials so this is purely like this barium cadmium so molecules they will be molecule form so molecules be added organic cadmium is organic fragment that is we have organic fragment r part and then some metal now we'll take example here organotin most common organotin r s n so that combination is used it is like the grignard reagent rmgx type rmg is tarah se aur ek jo in the form of molecules hum use karte hain that is uh, and and usually ye jo combinations hai these we are adding with for example if you use this you will add with this uh, organic acid uh, stearic acid or palmitic acid so these are used in combination with uh organic acid is like stearic acid stearic acid or palmitic acid and so on palmitic acid or bhi hai it is the most common so your impurities your thermal stabilizers which are basically the foreign material 